What's up guys, it's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and today's video gonna learn how to customize or how to personalize our WordPress dashboard or WordPress admin panel, okay? So, are you tired of this old look of the WordPress dashboard or you are doing a dashboard for an agency that much people gonna log in and you would like to have something more unique? This tutorial is for you, okay? But before I can start, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much it helps us to bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, themes and many more tools in order to use the internet on your favor and on your site's favor, okay? After this made, let's get it started, of course, on the WordPress dashboard, okay? This admin bar, the admin menus. And first of all, we're gonna review the left side of menus on the WordPress dashboard. Scroll it down until you can see the plugins and hover your mouse over plugins and click on add new. Into the search field, you're gonna type this, okay? Custom dashboard. Custom dashboard and login page, A-G-C-A, -A. okay? Click on install. After installing, click on activate button, okay? It gonna redirect you to the plugins list page, okay? From here, you're gonna be able to see all the plugins installed on your site. And here is the one that we just, we the, just did install it, okay? And what we can do from here? If you review, we can access the plugin settings into this button right here. But if you want to find the settings easier, you can hover your mouse once again into the left side of menus on our sidebar. Hover your mouse over tools and once on tools, the last option is AGCA. -A. Click on it. And here is the plugin customizer page. Let's get started on the general options. And what we have right here into the general? Into the general we have the main options, for example, we can hide the screen option menu, hide the help menu, and exclude the save for users from the customization, okay? Now we can move to the admin bar the admin bar it's the this top bar that appears when you log in on your wordpress across your website so as you can see we have the admin bar at the top of my site with the option to edit a page to add a new page the theme option the customize okay this is the admin bar and what we can do from here we can for example apply a logo okay our website logo type let me go to my media library and let me grab a logo type. I think this one is good. You must click on the logo. If you do not have one, upload one and grab the file URL, okay? Copy this URL. Let me go back right here and admin bar logo. Let me screw it down so we can save the change. Now, as you can see, the admin bar have our website logo type on it, okay? It's good in the case that you that you want to, for example, do a more branding style website, for example. Let me grab this other logo. I think this one is better. What else we can do? We can apply a link to this logo, okay? Normally this logo can link to some page. So you can apply a custom link, a custom URL. So if someone's clicking to this logo, they can be redirected to specific URL, okay? Now, the page title template. We can add a default, okay? It's very useful according to the way of sites you have. Now, we can apply a header image, okay? So, the heading, like this one of the logo, we can change it, okay? Let me show you an example. 
Let me find some logo type. I think this one is too big. This one is too small. This one is good. Let me grab the user L and place right here. Let me save chains. And as you can see, we have a heading image on the WordPress dashboard, okay? So if I now open my WordPress dashboard, we have this heading image. So as you can see, we are getting more brandings to our WordPress dashboard. Let's keep it going. What else we can do? We can hide the admin bar logo in the case that you want. We can hide the admin bar logo contact menu. We can hide the site name, remove the update notification, remove hide the comments block, hide the new block, for example, add a new page, add a new user. We can custom the blog heading in the case that you need. You can hide the WordPress update notification. This is very good in the case that you are the site admin and you do not want the users to see this. It's very useful. And to the right side, what you can do? We can change the handy text, change the logout text. So as you can see right here, we have our, into the upper right corner, we have this content right here. We can change this text in the case that you need. We can hide the edit my profile link, logout only. So very useful. We can edit the footer of the dashboard. What you can do in the footer? We can hide the footer. We can hide the footer text, we can change the footer text, we can hide the version text. The footer is this one, okay? Thank you for creating with WordPress and the WordPress version. You can remove this in the case that you are doing a, brand web, a branded website. You do not want to share WordPress information, WordPress links. So we can type your own content right here, okay? Or hide this completely. And this is one of my favorite parts, okay? The dashboard itself. We can change the dashboard heading text, for example, if I go to right here into WordPress dashboard, it says dashboard. Simple, right? Makes all the sense, by the way. But we can change it to Visual Moro Backend, for example. And of course, we can apply a custom content, we can apply an image, we can apply HTML, we can do anything right here, okay? We can even apply codings right here. And we have other options, for example, hide the welcome widget, hide the health status, hide the activity, hide the quick draft it, hide the at a glance, hide the WordPress news, this is good, hide the secondary widget area. Let me save the change so we can see. So, Visual Moro backend. What else we can do? We can change the login page, okay? The WordPress login page can be fully customized. We can change the text, we can change, we can apply a logo, we can change the URL, we can change the, we can hide the register link, we can change the register link, or we can hide the lost password link, okay? If you are using a Visual Moto WordPress team, you will have an option, you have an option to change the WordPress login defaults, okay? But most of the teams does not offer this option, so it's very good that a plugin like this for free offer this, okay? And we can change the admin menu. What is the admin menu? It's this menu right here, this side menu, this right side menu. For example, we can hide the, the options of the menu right here. We can change the text in the case that you need. We can hide the menu completely. We can add new menu items. We 
You can hide the menu icons, for example, in the case that you need. Let me save change so I can see this. So no more icons. Seems like only WooCommerce. It's the one that do not want to be written, but it's part of WooCommerce, right? We can hide the submenu arrow. We can do a lot of things right here. For example, even apply an admin menu branding logo. This is nice, okay? We can apply a branding logo into this menu. And even add a custom URL for this branding logo when click it. Now, the colorizer, okay? What is the colorizer? Is the place where you can play with colors. For example, for background, I would like to save my eyes, so I would like to pick a dark color. Much better. Oh lord. And for font color, once my background is dark, I would like a white font color. Can you see? Really, really, really simple. Let me change the footer color text. Can you see how better this is looking like right now? Really good, right? So this is the plugin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section in the case that you have any question left. Before I forget, we have the advanced tab, okay? Where you can apply custom CSS, custom JavaScript, you can remove the styles from the settings page, disable the post verification, import the export settings, okay? Simple, easy, and effective, okay? And the better part, for free. And it is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out our free WordPress plugin, the Borderless, okay? In order to gain widgets, elements, templates, and tools, and even pre-built websites that you can import with a single click. And you can install this plugin for free. Go into WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, search for Borderless, click on install and activate, and you are ready, good to go. Moreover, in the case that you are in needs of an amazing free WordPress theme, in order to do your site, your landing page, your sales page with premium templates, premium search functions, premium SEO features, rich snippet results, all for free. Go to our WordPress dashboard, appearance, themes, add new, search for Enzu WordPress theme, click on install and activate. Moreover, in the case that you prefer to go premium, in order to have extra elements, more pages to import, or full support, premium icons, and extra features, go to visualmodo.com, purchase the Visual Modo Pass product in order to have the pro licenses for the both theme and plugins. And it is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I see you tomorrow. All the best!